Uh, welcome everybody to this week's Qbert community meeting. It is the uh, 7th of February. Um, couldn't quite mean backwards dates at the moment. Um, I hope you don't mind if I have my camera off this week. Uh, I feel like I'm just skirting the edge of illness after FOSDEM. Um, and yeah, let's just say I'm not exactly photogenic. Um, before we get started, if we could please put in our names, as Stu is doing in the attendees list. Um, hopefully, hopefully you can see my screen. I'm just going to, whoop, Abnerdin. Uh, Andrew, I've just seen a, a blank screen, but I'm not sure. That's the same for everybody. Oh, can anyone else see? My screen? It tells me I'm sharing my screen. And it shows me on preview. Okay. Daniel, I can, can see, see something. It. Sorry, Brian. Uh, that's on you. Okay, I'll have to I'll have to try something else. If it makes you feel better, my Google Meet now um, doesn't show my video even though I can see it. So I thought this might be a similar issue. Um, I don't know why that would make you feel better. Um, before we get going. Uh, let me just have a quick look. Um, I recognize all of those people. So I'll still give everyone the opportunity. If anyone hasn't introduced themselves, um, you regular Qbert community meeting attendees. Firefox video sharing is not working anymore on Google Meet. Oh, good. Oh, man. I like Firefox. Um, if anyone who is a regular attendee of this meeting and would like to introduce themselves because they haven't done so, um, you, you have that opportunity now if you'd like. Well, all right then. We shall shift on. Um, the schedule check-in, without looking at it, I can tell you um, because I have it in the mailing list review. Um, we had feature freeze for version 1.2 yesterday. So that branch has been created. If we have a scroll down here. Uh, so we are on track for a uh, February 27th GA release for version 1.2. Um, and does anyone have anything they'd like to add to that? Or we'll move along. Moving along. Upcoming CFG, CFB. Um, I haven't had a chance to update this. To my knowledge, there is the um, DevConf uh, in Bruno in June. It is still open until March 3rd. So that's in approximately, what, like 3.8 weeks or something. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, I think I say this every week, but DevConf is an amazing conference. It is also free. Um, I, I think it, we're not allowed to have favorites, but I think it's my favorite. Um, and last year we had, uh, yeah, a, a great number of Qbert people, and it's always a pleasure to meet people from the community. So uh, by all means, uh, submit for that. Um, and if you have only half an idea or you have something you're not entirely sure about, by all means, um, feel free to ping me. I'd love to have a look at it, have a talk about it, um, whatever you need. Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm here. There is also, I don't have a link to it at the moment, but I'll, I'll aim to update this um, before next we meet. CFP only just opened, uh, so there's not a huge rush for it. But if you're in uh, North America and you're security minded, the Cloud Native Security Con um, CFP is currently open. You can find that out on the CNCF website, but I will update it here just in case um, there are folks here interested. So moving on, we have an extremely light agenda this week. Um, so if you have anything that you would like to bring up while we all are here present together, um, by all means add it and we'll return to it um, before the meeting ends. But for now, I'll just um, move on a bit. So when I went through the pull requests, I couldn't see anything um, that hadn't got attention with the exception of a few from our um, like uh, most active community members. So I didn't include them here because I'm pretty sure they know how to get people's attention when they need it. Um, so yeah, if, if you expect to see something here um, and it's not, by all means add it. There are a few things on our mailing list. 
that I thought I would just bring quick attention to as we go through. Um, Ed's put forward this thing. Uh, did I see Ed on the call? I did. Ed, did you want to quickly say anything about this? Um, no, that, just that if you have uh, any feedback, then please, please share it. If we have approvers on the on maintainers in this call, then I would appreciate their act on it. Sounds and good. I hope Thanks, that Ed. it will it will take it. We can use this for the next release. Awesome. So yeah, pull two five one. Have a look, and if you're an approver, um, yeah, push through. Unless there are any outstanding questions. There is this one. I did see a response to this just before the meeting. Um, but yeah, so this came up in the meeting last week. We talked about it, and we have moved to the mailing list. Um, the suggestion from Morel was adding a backlog label to be able to track these things and have it um, uh, behave slightly different from um, outside of our, our life cycle automator. Um, if you're interested, the conversation is happening there. Ah, yes. Uh, Vladik posted this. It's a new project. Uh, Qbert troubleshooting with logs viewer. Working with a couple of people from the community. Um, it does currently only work with OpenShift. Is and there anyone here? I see Joao is here. Um, is there? A, uh, I'm guessing there is a plan here to make this um, work with uh, Qbert out of the box. Is that correct? Um, it is already dedicated to the. Qubit must gather and so on. It's just a question of uh, also working for the plain Kubernetes since it's using currently templates. Um, when Vodic started it, it was it was just thinking about an open shift. So uh, I think that's the main difference here. Cool. And so, but that is that is the plan. If there is, um, but this will be also available for working on Kubernetes. Uh, yeah, yeah, because for Qvirt, uh, as you can see actually in the message, you, already says that you, know, you can already see the virtual machine logs and VMI logs and even open it uh, on uh, on Elasticsearch. The thing is, uh, and nobody has been has a lot on his plate, so he's looking for people mm -hmm. to help uh, work on the, on the tool itself, because on my side, I'm actually Hashtag trying to make it work with, with, for example, see. support shell. So, yeah. We are looking for more uh, collaborators. <laughs> so if that idea does appeal to you, uh, the project is there. And um, yeah, help is needed. I should add that to the uh, agenda, actually. And here's the aforementioned, the Qbert 1.2 feature freeze has gone through. Um, what was there? Oh, yes. You have until the 27th to cherry pick any necessary bug fixes to the release branch. Um, yep. And the bug scrub. Basil can't push to a private repository. Uh, no one's. See anything? That version. Um, in my, uh, in my lack of experience, this doesn't look like a Qbert issue, but is anyone able to? I think there's a rough edge uh -huh. um, with regards to uh, how Basil picks up the authentication details. 
Uh, you can tag me. You can see see me. It's uh, AKA. Nope. Oh, here you go. Can't remember exactly the details. Thank you very much. Okay. Panel for memory and CPU request is configurable. Oh, it's more of a question. Uh, can CPU request be configured? See of a lot of alerts regarding PERT handler exceeds the CPU requested. Hi, uh, yeah, you can uh, assign it to me. I can uh, provide him with an example of how to how to use customized components in order to awesome. uh, adjust. It. Thank you, Igor. Sure. Oh, this one doesn't have a thing. Oh, this is a rel. So this is uh, one of the issues that I tried to raise last week. Um, this is the kind of issues that I thought uh, could be interesting to have as a first good issue to maybe expand our contributors list. As you can see, this issue um, describes a file read from the file system every time we do something that we do um, so many times, like mutating a VMI or creating a VMI or updating a VMI. So every time we read a certain file from the file system, and it could be optimized to just happen once. Gotcha. So this is something that you know that you won't have time to work on in the immediate future, but you'd like to have it not get um, garbage collected due to lack of, uh, lack of activity. What do you think? Could this be a good first issue? Uh, you tell me. <laughs> Asking the respective form. Yeah, it's uh, from first side, it sounds straightforward. And by the way, uh, you asked uh, how is it better to manage these tasks or uh, issues? Maybe we can utilize a GitHub project for that, for Kubernetes. Or uh, it's will it require special permissions from uh, the organization members? I mean, if it's a burden to give the permissions to participate in the project, then never mind. Because I don't know how much uh, you know it will cost in terms of uh, uh, maintaining the permissions to the GitHub project. I just know that it's kind of a nice tool. It's like Trello, Trello, and we can organize <clears throat> these uh, tasks there. It's kind of a backlog, like. So I don't know if anyone has some experience with managing GitHub projects. I would like to know more about it. Yeah, I've only seen it used in a couple of instances, uh, so I wouldn't say I have a lot of experience with it. But that's an interesting idea, um, using something like that to manage our backlog. It, it, it might be a little too like um, cumbersome for that, but I also don't know. <laughs> Then let's leave it as is with filtering by the good first issue for a while. And, uh, let's hope that someone will take it. Hashing the VM name for the UUID leads to duplicates. Uh, creating VMs with the same names in different namespaces. 
Oh, James with the same name had the same UID. That doesn't sound like good. <laughs> Interesting. And Fabian's on to it. All right, I'll leave that with Fabian then. Check. Okay. Now I've looked at this. Uh, how do I add multiple DNS search domains and DNS M dot option to a guest VM search list of Etsy Resolve? Please employ a Kubert VM 1.1, Kubernetes cluster version 129. Okay, from our lab. This DNS search mainly shows one entry. Okay, how to reconfigure the guest VM so it can use more DNS searches. Okay. I like that little journey there. Um, who would like to help out this this user? Not sure if there's a um, if there's an old uh, manifest that they're using. Aurelio, your mic's on. Uh, is that you uh, wanting me to add you to CC? My mic is not on, as far as I know. Oh, sorry, your name flashed up on the thing, so I thought you must have unmuted. I asked Maybe. Alona this morning to have a look at it. Oh, you did? OK, excellent. Thanks for that. Can I tag her? I don't know. Let's take it offline. Okay. Or maybe Eddie had another suggestion. No, oh, that was my suggestion. But you you can uh, you can uh, can mark it as Signetalk and uh, can CC me or Lona. It's fine. We'll try to see what ones. Or we'll find someone. You're here, so I feel slightly better about tagging you in it. Um, and adding SIG network. One moment. Well, you can just do uh, slash SIG space network. Not here. Yeah, yeah. The bot would do. I thought we had a SIG network label there. Yeah, slash but slash. that is like um, it will. Uh, be applied with a slash. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Alrighty. Next one. All oh, these bugs. Up Sierra code. Ah, this looks like a storage issue. Now we have an error occurring during provisioning. Access mode is read right once. Using this command, we can upload. Oh, okay. Um, am I right in thinking that then this then has resolved itself? Or do we still have a problem? You can see see me and I'll, I'll check. I'm also confused about that. Gotcha. Thanks, Alex. Just another couple to go. Have some people tagged here. Um, it's not marked as a bug. 
administrator used for a hook sidecar used to provide a container image and the annotations when using the feature. Make it optional using image with digest invert operator would be helpful. All right, that does sound like an enhancement. Especially useful in disconnected environment. Hmm. That does seem useful. All right. Well, I'll I'll leave those guys to um, their own thoughts onto it. And finally, there's no comments here already. BGPU mount bug. It's not set. Now was successful. The pod log indicated the resource was not needed. Uh, same device ID can be used normally when using a KVM virtual machine. Whoa. Yeah, I see for... Yeah, um, pardon my ignorance, but last week I was reading, I, I was working on some docs for the mediated device thing. Does this need to be added to the KubeCon config before it can be consumed by the VM? By the way, this uh, person is using a very old Kubernetes version. Are we still supporting it? I don't think so. Uh, what? Oh, uh, 123. Was it the Vladex ah, just commented. Commented no. <laughs> okay. All righty. Well, <laughs> that bug resolved itself. Thank you, Vladek. In your absence. All righty. Let's have a quick look up here. Uh, in answer to question, though, uh, no, we are not supporting version 1.23. Uh, perfect. All right, no one's added anything to the agenda or the open floor. Um, so we'll probably finish 30 minutes early unless someone has anything they'd like to add before we, uh, before we depart. Yes, please. I have a question regarding the SIG, SIG code quality. Are there any meetings of the SIG or is it just a label? I am not aware of any meetings that are taking place currently. So maybe someone else can chime in, but <clears throat> I don't think that meetings currently will uh, currently are are happening. Yeah, I'm not. I'm also not aware of such meetings. In the past, I wanted to initiate some to kick off some uh, C quality, C, C core quality uh, meetings in upstream. But didn't have bandwidth for that, so I think you are welcome to initiate. I'm also unaware of um, anything happening there at Space. However, if you want me to set up something and put it on the calendar. Um, as a um, whatever uh, recurrence. Um, if you want to let me know, then we can send something to the mailing list. Are people interested in such a meeting? Yeah, I would be interested. Well, you know what they say, it only takes two to start a meeting. So uh, we can create the meeting. Um, do you want me to start it, what, next week? Maybe, probably should we first talk about the, the, um, how, the regularity or the uh, sequence? Um, like, will it be weekly or rather two weekly or something?
and the scope. Maybe we should start the mailing list thread and talk about what we want to achieve for this SIG. Yeah, of course. Good. Um, Aurel, did you want to do that? Sure, no problem. Legend. All right. Did anyone else have something that they would like to throw in at the last minute? In that case, uh, we'll end 20 minutes early. Thank you everyone for being here and for being part of this community. Um, I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day and a wonderful weekend and we will catch you here uh, next week. Thank you very much. See you. Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye-bye.